ones weighed as much as a hundred tons. Say, man, that's heavy. But the smallest dinosaur was not much bigger than a turkey. <laughs> Until recently, scientists believed the dinosaur to be extinct. But now they believe that there is one animal that is directly descended from the mighty dinosaur. Crocodiles. Elephants. Margaret's mother. Birds. Birds. Birds? And it all began with an egg. Unlike the fishes and amphibians before them, the dinosaurs laid their eggs out of the water. When they were born, they were prepared to exploit the land. Exploit? Did you say exploit? There were tall ones. That's you, Margaret. Short ones. Richard, just shut up. Fat ones. And flat ones. You again, Margaret. Children, come now. Who knows what the dinosaurs eat? Anything <laughs> they wanted. <laughs> yeah, man, in the movies, they eat people. That's so neat. Oh, people, man, they just hang out their mouths. Yeah, man, they be kicking their legs and everything. It's really cool. Dinosaurs did not eat people. Well, that oh. sounds really disappointing. There weren't any people. The last dinosaur died 60 million years before man. And how do you even know they were here? Yeah. Because scientists have found their bones, and they put them all together. They know a lot about them, how big they were, how they moved around, what they ate. They even found dinosaur footprints. Dinosaur! <laughs> uh, sit down, Richard. I'm starving. A dead dinosaur, these. What's for lunch? I don't know. Read the lunch menu. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. Now, that means that they ate only plants. They were harmless creatures with teeth suitable only for chewing soft plant food. Eat this. Russell Sprout. Eat as a Russell Sprout. But some dinosaurs had rows and rows of huge teeth. They were the carnivores. Yeah! That means they ate only meat. Stop eating jewels, man. Sometimes they ate other dinosaurs. I think I'm gonna be sick. But the largest of the giant dinosaurs was a plant eater. <laughs> the Brachiosaurus was 50 feet tall and slow-witted, with a brain the size of a kitten. It got by with fewer ounces of brain in proportion to its weight than any other backboned animal we know of. Except for Richard. The longest dinosaur measured one-third the length of a football field. That ought to keep everybody in the locker room. <laughs> when he received a message here, it had to travel all the way to its brain. Here. Yeah! And then the message from the brain had to travel all the way back again. That could take as long as a minute. <laughs> so the Diplodocus had a sort of a helper brain. Here. You ought to send away for one of those, Richard. You need some help. <laughs> the Ankylosaurus was the armored tank of dinosaurs. Like other plant eaters, it moved slowly, and its teeth were only good for chewing plants. <clears throat> but shields of bony plates covered its back, and small ones nearly covered its face. That looked like Margaret's mother. And it carried a tail like a war club. Ow! That hurt! And for my next number, The meanest and most head. ferocious of the dinosaurs was the meat-eating Tyrannosaurus rex. It had teeth as long and sharp as knives, and it could open its mouth a full four feet. Don't say it, Richard. Its name means Tyrant Lizard King. And when he talked, everybody listened. What happened? 
happened to them, Philip? They died. Oh. <sighs> of what? That is a mystery. Dum -dee -dum -dum -dum. There are many theories regarding the extinction of the dinosaur, but no one knows for sure what happened. Next. A change in climate may have been responsible. Mm. Vast areas of dinosaur country cooled, and perhaps the dinosaur couldn't adapt. Mm. They were too big to burrow into the ground, and too bulky to move to a warmer climate. Why don't we move Philip to a warmer climate? How about the furnace room? <laughs> Some people believe that growing numbers of mammals were eating the dinosaur eggs so that fewer and fewer of them were hatched. Awesome bird brain! Changes in the Earth's surface may have endangered the dinosaur as well. Mountains were pushed up and swampy lands turned into desert. With fewer plants to eat, the plant-eating dinosaurs became fewer. And cool. And the plant-eating dinosaurs had been food for the meat-eating dinosaurs. What a drag. So then, there were fewer meat-eating dinosaurs. Oh, I don't want to die! Shut up! <laughs> and that's not all. Some scientists think the rays from an exploding star... Oh, right off. ...kill the dinosaur. Oh, dear. I mean, think about it. 200 million years ago, the Jurassic period. The land was covered with thick forests of conifers and giant ferns. There were marshes and bayous everywhere. It was warm then, almost tropical. Jeez. This was the home of the dinosaur. He was everywhere for a hundred million years, eating and fighting. I mean, we were nowhere then, man. Those guys ruled the Earth. Do you know that they found a shoulder blade of a dinosaur that's taller than the man who found it? A shoulder blade, man! Do you know how big that is? They call him Supersaurus! And he was as big as 15 African bull elephants! Oh, man! I mean, nobody messed with him! Would you mess with a guy that eats pine trees for lunch? <laughs> Jeez, no, you wouldn't. I don't care what you think you'd say to a dinosaur if he was right here. Hey, man, that's my pine tree. Don't eat that pine tree. I'll call my lawyer. <laughs> hey, no way. You don't say nothing. You just be as quiet as a mouse, M-O-U-S-E mouse. And hope he doesn't step on you. I mean... <laughs>
the dinosaur died, the mammals had a chance to develop. And the mammals have a superior brain by far, if I do say so myself. Are you going to give another report tomorrow? Oh, we'll see, Barbara. We'll see. 